In southern Tajikistan, a family gathers for a celebration. 19-year-old Zarina is getting married. It should be a day of joy, yet, like many weddings here, it's tinged with sadness. Her groom, Farouk, is getting ready to take on new responsibilities. But to do that, he'll very soon have to leave his wife and go to Russia. His father explains he has no choice. <laughs> Like many new wives, Farouk's bride will move in with his family to bring up their future children and look after his mother. While he could be away in Russia for months or even years. Every year, a million men leave Tajikistan to find work in Russia. Many find new families abroad, divorce their wives here, or simply never return. The women, often left destitute, are forced to do what would have been men's jobs here, or in some cases, are so desperate they have to put their children into institutions. I'm Evan Williams. On this edition of 101 East, we explore the sometimes devastating effects of Tajikistan's missing men. At the southern edge of what was the Soviet Empire, Tajikistan is as remote as it is stunning. But vast ranges make only 7% of its land arable. And the collapse of communism closed most of its big industry. As a result, a staggering 50% of its GDP comes from men working abroad. Many men leave from the country's impoverished south, where there's little chance to lift their families out of poverty. One of them is Horshed Shiraliev. He has a growing family and borrowed money to build his house. He feels he has no choice but to go to Russia. <laughs> This is Horshed's fourth trip to Russia, but his youngest daughter, 13-month-old Amina, is making it especially hard to leave this time. This migration is having a dramatic effect. Tajikistan is largely an agricultural economy, yet across the country, men are conspicuously absent from the fields. Villagers use collective farms to grow food and share profits. This one, near the Afghan border, is run by Makfirat Saidramanova. <laughs> More than half the women here have husbands working in Russia, many who have been there for years. Many 
در شرط از هوا تمام وزمی می شود. نه کمی کرو برای ما زن و وزمی نه. نه که ایلوج نداریم، امکانیت نداریم. وقتی که مرد نداریم در خوجگی دیخ کنیم و همی کرو رو ما زن و خمه بکنیم. In Tajik tradition, most wives stay with the husband's parents. But because the men are away sometimes for years, this creates tension. When the father and mother are in the house, they say that they don't have a good house, 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 they don't have a good house. بعد او بچه در وقتی در جای غریبی که هست وقتی او شرایط برای خودش نداره او چی هم میگفت؟ میگفت که جواب شده دادم او چه بر در خونه او چه شو او تش برسونش اکراس در کنتری ومن ها بینگ لفت تو سپورت دمسلوز از افری یه تاوزنز او مایگرنت مین دوورس در تجیک وایفز و ستای در روشه In the southern town of Kuliab, the wives of migrant workers gather to find out what happens to them if they're divorced. Dordebek Saida Lieva runs a legal team offering free advice to abandoned women. He's collected figures on the number of Tajik men staying in Russia and divorcing their wives. Har sol tip ki amori rasmi in amor rasmi az har sol nazdi ki chorda hazor mojroni Tajik dar Russia oilay na bar bom bar pomekunam. Kismati az se az se ya ki se yon ma figur mekam na kantar az se ya ki in tedot. Each year, more than a million Tajik men work abroad. One third will never return, and their wives are shocked by the way in which they're being divorced. Many husbands call their wives by phone and say the word talak three times. It's a modern version of an Islamic divorce. Once divorced, culturally, it's almost impossible for these women to remarry. Each month in this district alone, lawyer Lutfia deals with 15 new divorces, nearly all of them delivered by phone. Some women just get a text message. The number of divorces by phone and text has grown so much that religious authorities have had to step in. The country's chief religious leader, Sai Mukaram, regularly uses sermons to chide men on the subject. Divorce this way has become so common that he and other Muslim leaders felt they had to act. از این لحاظ با خطری که تلاش با وسیله SMS یا اینکه با وسیله تلفن ها رخ ندهد، ما با تمام مردم مراجعت کردیم و تمام اعضای شورای علما فتوا صادر کردند. وقتی که از نزدیک میخواهد، اگر که دیگر ایلوج نداشته باشد، صحبتی داشته باشد، شاید یک نیکی اون همسر با یادش بزند و تلاش ندهد. از این لحاظ از این نقطه نظر شورای علما و مفتیات جمهوری تاجیکستان اعضای شورای علما همگی 
به خلاصه اومدن مردم رو تشویق و ترغیب کنند که با واسطه ایس ام یا با واسطه با واسطه تلفن ها طلاق ندهند Some may heed that modern message, but a religious revival has brought a return of an ancient practice. Many men are only using Islamic marriages and not registering their weddings with the state. That means the divorced women are left with no rights to property or payouts to care for their children. If a woman has not registered a marriage, то она даже не подозревает о том, как, в какие проблемы она попадает. Диана Измайлова runs a UN program that helps divorcees. Это касается ее прав на имущество, на землю, на алименты, на финансовую поддержку от мужа. Получается замкнутый круг, она не может защитить ни себя, ни детей и остается часто на улице. Получается, часто ее выдворяют из дома, из квартиры. Она вынуждена вместе с детьми где-то пребывать, менять место жительства, арендовать квартиру. И, конечно, это выливается ей финансово. Если у нее нет денег, она... самое лучшее, что она может сделать, это возвратиться домой к маме. Being forced to move back in with her mother is exactly what happened to 24-year-old Nadira. She was thrown out of her in-law's house when she was divorced by phone eight months ago. <laughs> Nadira lives here with her son. Her sister is also divorced and lives here with her daughter. With few jobs for single mothers, they all now rely on $60 a month earned by her father. They need three times that amount to feed everyone, so each week they slip deeper into debt just to survive. <laughs> Nadira tells her three-year-old son Dilijon his father will return, but even at this tender age, he doesn't believe them. Many divorced women live in remote villages. Here, they often have few options and little support. A few years ago, Omina was left alone with her children. She was divorced after her husband said that their youngest child, Sharo, wasn't his. She claims it was an excuse for him to move to Russia with another woman. <laughs> این بچی من نیستم. چه پوشید دکم این توشه گیریفت خست رفت. Today, Shara is still troubled by his father's claim that he's somehow to blame for the breakup. Once left alone, to feed her boys, Omina walked for hours each day to buy and sell eggs. Because her marriage wasn't registered with the state, Omina had no way to force her husband to pay upkeep for the boys. 
So, after years of struggle, she decided she had to give them up to an orphanage. While he's here on a brief visit, Sharol will soon return to the institution to join his brother. Nodira's marriage wasn't state registered either, but today there is at least some hope. Lawyer Mukadas is here collecting evidence of Nodira's marriage to try and get a court to force her husband to pay for the child. Mukadas has achieved court orders for a third of the women she represents, but because many of the men in Russia have no fixed address, enforcement is almost impossible. If she gets no money, Nadira may be forced to make a difficult choice. Becoming a second wife or polygamy is illegal in Tajikistan, so many second marriages are kept secret. But one divorced woman was willing to meet us if we didn't reveal her identity. Zarafor Ramoni is the Islamic Revival Party's chief legal advisor. Today she's discussing migrant rights but is worried about the vulnerability of the growing number of second wives. The children of parents who don't divorce can also suffer from the effects of migration. One-fifth of migrants' wives get no money at all from their husbands. 37% receive such a small amount they live in poverty with their children. These were the findings of a recent report by the International Organization of Migration. Gulchera Ibragimova is one of the report authors. И с учетом того, что, например, действительно в государстве повышаются цены, например, на 500 долларов это очень мало за год, например, для семьи это очень мало. Но недостаточно тех денег, которые, например, чтобы удовлетворить свои от, а, основные потребности. Это, например, оплата основных нужд, это еды, питание, благоустройство своих домов, оплата за здравоохранение, например, там досуг для себя и детей организовать. Others start doing casual work that quickly takes over their lives. Sharom and Shahzod are both just 15. Hello, Moscow. 
برای شرایط نیست ماشین شوی میکنیم پول یافتا میبرم خود شما داری چه برای زنده این پیش میبرم Like school children everywhere, they started washing cars part-time. But a few months ago, they both dropped out of school to wash cars full-time to feed their brothers, sisters and mothers. They both had wanted to become doctors. <laughs> خوندن در کریوزی با رفت داخل شدن من نمیخونم شرایط نیست اگر خیلی شرایط نیست میخونه با داخل میشنه اونجا من دونشگاه دارم من شرایط با کیو نیستم اگر روز ما خونم شرایط خونه به هیچ نیست خونه به چیش میبنه این مومیسو شرایط خیلی نیست شرایط نیست پول نیست فکر میکنم با گام دکور میکنم خوب میخونم با زیگ بشم. The causes of divorce and lack of money can often be found in the conditions men face when they leave Tajikistan. In Russia, many seek work in construction. but it can be months before they find a job. And when they do, many are vulnerable to exploitation. The shame of not earning enough means some men can't face their families again. Tajiks first fled to Russia in the 90s to escape a five-year civil war that left 150,000 people dead. Since then, President Emomali Ramon claims his rule has guaranteed stability. But opposition is barely tolerated and critics talk of a small elite controlling many aspects of business, stifling investment and jobs. یک گروهی هستند که اونها همین تجارت رو از خود کردند. یک محلگرایی دیگر خش و تبرچیگی خیلی رواج یافت است و نفرانی که میخوان تجارت سالم رو در کشور برای مونند با فشار و محدودیت ها دچار میشوند. یعنی اونها رو محدود میکنند، فشار میورند و اونها این تجارت خود از تجارت خود دست میکشند. The government stresses it allows Islamist opposition figures in parliament and denies its cracking down on democratic forces. But unless the country's leaders find a way to create jobs, thousands of women like Omina will continue to be divorced. And boys like Sharuk and his brother will continue to grow up without their fathers, some in orphanages. <laughs> امی کمی که پول دستم غلطی دم راه پلی میکنم، امی او یک گونچی میاد چه دم میگیرم میره. نه اون تاکت کردم نیست. Ну в Таджикистане это бедность. У нас же нету рабочих мест. То есть места есть, но они не соответственно оплачиваются. Человек не хочет идти на работу и тратить все свои силы за мизерную оплату. В нашей стране сейчас нужны, конечно, помощь различных организаций, других стран, более развитых стран, для того, чтобы выйти из этого кризиса, из вот этой вот дыры. Мало тебя чуру мы не мерим. Чем еще худо-худо. А из деньги и хубичка с нами рвал. Ой, да и худо-худо, с нами рвал. Thank you.